Under no circumstances must you follow the rules. You know, as a YouTube star with over 500 subscribers, can I get a wall? Whoa! Can I get another wall? Whoa! Give me another one? Whoa! Call the ambulance! Whoa, 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 whoa. I often get asked, how do you keep coming up with all this fresh new content? People are saying there is a rule book. There is no rule book. The rule book is to not be yourself. Upload inconsistently. <laughs> and be gay. Before I give away all my oh, I'm changing tips for how to become successful on YouTube overnight. Make sure to leave a hate comment below. Because everybody knows that the only way to get successful on YouTube is through pure karma alone. You have to trick the fucking universe into giving you what you want. Manifest that shit like it's Santa Claus who's sending it to you. You ask that fat fuck to send you subscribers and the universe... <laughs> you gotta manif manifest that shit like it's Santa Claus who's sending you your subscribers. You go, hey, hey, hey you fat fuck. <laughs> Send me my subscribers, bitch. I'm gonna slit your fucking wrist. What did I say about the rule book? There is no fucking rule book. You don't go, Oh, Santa, I've been a good boy this year. Can I please have my poison? You fucking use threatening tactic. You, you, you blackmail that f big, round, tubby margarine ball into giving you the success that you deserve. So I just got one of these big squishy things with like little waffles so that my bed's super squishy. So, squishy, you know what I mean, like, what are they called? Convoluted underlay. I don't know what the word convoluted means. Convoluted. I thought convoluted was like, you're delusional. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. This. Lyndon Johnson. Yeah. He yeah. succeeded Kennedy. He succeeded Kennedy. He got, he was after Kennedy, right? Apparently it means squishy bubble waffle things. Let's give my bed some rich energy because I've got black sheets, like shiny 1000 thread count black sheets. Ooh. I never used to understand why my mum was so obsessed with these as a kid. Now I realize it's because it makes the bed so much squishier. Squishy bed vibes. Okay, so I just realized I need a fitted sheet that fits his double bed to go over the top of this before I put on my real sheets, which I don't have. So thankfully, because I live in the city now, which is so handy, I have a Lincraft, like a sheet shop on my street. So I'm just gonna duck down the street and back. I might bring it with me. Oh my God, stop your fucking life. I'll bring it with me. I want to tell the people out there, suck my dick. So I got to Lincraft and went, oh, the camera's still sitting on the tripod back at home. Oops. <laughs> you are so sorry, I didn't take you to Lincraft with me. Oops. Oops. Apparently, this is news to me, but you can get quilt covers that are made of the same material that jersey knit. That's what t-shirt material is. Like, you know that squishy, stretchy stuff that t-shirts are made out of? That's got a name and that's jersey. Where's the news in the media? So you can get jersey quilt covers. I don't know if I'll put the pillowcases on the inside or the outside, but I'm gonna put them on the pillows anyway. Because more, more pillowcases means pillows will be softer. Scientific studies have proven. Science. Okay. New safety glasses on. By the end of this century, if emissions keep rising, the average temperature on Earth could go up another four to eight degrees. What I'm saying is the planet's on fucking fire. There are a lot of things we could do to put it out. Are any of them free? No, of course not. Nothing's free, you idiots. Grow the fuck up. These are my black sheets. Oh, they're only 250. I was trying to get the thousand thread count ones. I wasn't paying attention. These are so black. Like, I can't explain on camera, but 
Look how black they are. It's so black. It's like shiny. Crackheads are being noisy outside my apartment balcony. It's so annoying. I need to get a spray gun out there that just sprays people that are in the back alley whenever they're being noisy next to where I'm filming. <laughs> so these are my double bed sheet set. Flat sheet that is over. And the bamboo jersey double. Oh, I do have a fitted sheet. I'm an idiot. Oh no, the fitted sheet goes over the top of the mattress protective one. This one goes over the little wrinkly, bubbly things. That are squishy. You only have to wash the top fitted sheet. Not Science! I don't know. Look at me acting like I know how to make a bed. I'm an adult and I still don't know how to make a fucking bed properly. But you know, you gotta have that rich energy to be successful in life. Starting with making my bed because I spend eight hours a day in it. If I'm lucky. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> no. And what's this? I got a quilted pillow protector. Oh, it's waterproof too. It's sweat proof so that I don't make my actual pillow nest and I don't want to have to wash my pillow. This is one of those squishy memory foam ones with a cool gel on it. So that, oh, it's so cold. Love it. All right. I guess I'll just do a montage now of me making my bed. <laughs> I'm new to vlogging. Bear with me. Oh my God, I just did the bisexual finger guns. Is that a sign? Am I turning by? Gonna be some pussy in my life in 2021? <laughs> Who knows? I lost my virginity to a girl. Does that count? Am I still, am I considered bisexual from that one encounter? when I was 21? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> I could piss all over this and she'll be right. That's all I can think of. When someone says that they've got a waterproof mattress protector, I'm just like, so you're gonna be into some piss play or nah? <laughs> Montage. My first thought about black sheets was, wow, that's gonna be luxury, sensual. Then my second thought was, cum stains though. Then my third thought was, worth it. <laughs> God, you have to have a fucking degree in engineering to figure out how to put a quilted sheet on <laughs> a quilt on a copper. Now I do need another pillow for this bad boy. Thank you. But this is cute. Thank you. I think, I mean this grey is cute, but I, I thought it would be darker. But next to this, it stands out so much, the contrast. That's my bed, bitches. <laughs> How cute of them to write. Peel here to reseal, as if I'm not gonna eat this entire pack in one sitting. Did I lie? Did I lie? Oh, as if I'm actually gonna get out scissors and cut along that line to use that sticker at all. Did I fucking lie? I'm gonna have these little sandwich sandwiches, little bread wedges. Oh my god! Each one splits, like each one of these is split in half. Oh my god, they are really thin. What a thin sandwich. What a vibe. I think I'm into these. I, th I think I'm into it, you know? Saying gorgeous. Gorgeous and thin. Perfect idea. Okay, maybe this sticker does work. Oh. Oh. Stunning. Oh. Okay, avocado. Chuck an avo on there. What's the science for these? How do you, how do you tell when they're ready? Feels kind of squishy. I think it's ready. Oh. No, it feels a bit hard. Yeah, no. No.
It's not ready. Oh, oh no, what am I gonna do? Put that back. Bacteria vaginosis. Eat the advil, don't eat the advil. Oh. This one feels kind of ready, but we'll see. Yeah. She good. Some avocado vibes. On my thin widgets. That's that's slang for thin sandwiches. What do we think about mukbangs? Mukbang? 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 Mukbang. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. I might Google that now. I said it. It's muck boom. Okay. 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 I don't know what order I'm doing this, so don't stress. My friend Maddie loves this cheese. He got me onto it in Sydney. Look at that. Look at the little jalapenos through it. Oh, that actually looks like shit up close, but oh, oh, it's heaven. Ooh. So good. Oh, fuck, she's a bit spicy, oh my god, but then I am Caucasian. White, so my idea of spice is very skewed. Oh, I mean, it's not hot, it's just, oh, it's just, you know, like some jalap jalapeno flavored things are just like the chili flavor, but not the chili heat. This has got a little bit of a kick to it. Yes, yes, Mercy Valley, fuck me up. Oh, shock me. Looking kind of stunning so far. They're looking a bit green though, so I need some red onion. <laughs> So good. How good do these <laughs> look? Okay. My favorite. Um, salt. I have no fucking idea how they make this shit. It comes out flaky. It's magic. It's science. Salt man. This stuff, I don't know what Mexican flavored is, but <laughs> that's what it's called. I think it's just like paprika and chili and cane and stuff. And it's so good. It just makes things taste a little bit more flavor. And because I'm a gross... You know I'm a... Caucasian, because I'm crazy. <laughs> Caucasian. I'm gonna add sauce to everything. So this is barbecue sauce. I just put a little bit on the side that hasn't got anything on the bread. And we're cooking. You cannot cut these, I don't think. Mmm. Attention. Mmm. Mmm. That is a vibe. I've had done myself yet again. Alright, oh, oh. <laughs> that's the end of that video. Uh, sorry that that was a little bit chaotic. I ended up making my bed and eating food, and I thought I was just gonna make a bit of a joke out of it. If you wanna actually see some real YouTube tips, then let me know in the comments, and I'll be happy to do that. I was just trying to make my Melbourne vlog a little bit more fun, and I'm starting a new Manic Mondays series. Well, I guess this week, but next week is gonna be the official Manic Mondays video, and I'm doing a kind of a reaction to a few of the crazy things that Azalea Banks has been doing on Instagram, because she's wild, and we love her and we love a bipolar queen and that's going to be super fun. Not brick. <laughs> Not brick. She's a brick. Yes, that shall be interesting. That shall be exciting. Yes, we're doing that. Yes, Juno Birch. Realness. Pause. We're going to be doing that next week. <laughs> if you want to watch some more of that, then uh, like and subscribe. Beaches. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Apart with some of the funniest roasts I've ever heard. Tell me that fuck you, <laughs> fuck you, fat Lizzo. She said that like 30 times. She's calling her fat Lizzo <laughs> like that's her full name. <laughs>